Hello. I figured I'd take and tinker with this for a few. I need to put out a video anyways. So, steam chest time. Gotta face the top and bottom off. I've already got the outsides, I just ground them off with the grinder. And we'll fit it up, get everything sized up. I still gotta file the flashing out of the inside, but that'll... Sorry. That'll be another time. Um, so I've already started on just a few passes to see how it will turn out. So let's let's, let's go. Sorry. This is just a roughing pass right now. So, yeah. Nice sharp bit this time. He's not even trying. I'll come back when it's ready to flip it.
excellent finish. Let's see if I can move it over here to show you. I don't know if you see the mirror reflection in it. Hmm. Okay, let's flip it, start the other end. I guess it's time for a tour of it. Delta Rockwell motor. The only thing I think that was ever replaced on this thing was the motor. I have it on the lowest speed, so it's just going to take a long time to cut. So, I'll come back in a minute. I got something else to show you too. I was busy making ingot molds and fixed the crucible up so it doesn't leak anymore because I didn't want that to happen again. I got water in them, I know you do. I usually take and throw water in them and it starts to rust them. And then as soon as you fire them up in the furnace, or we'll go to use them the first time. I just throw them in the furnace and it creates a black oxide layer on all of them. And then I just toss them out in the yard. I get them, I just throw them in the furnace and then get them red hot. And then take them out and just set them where I need to. And then by the time the crucible here is melted, full and melted, these will be cooled down to about room temperature and they'll actually form the black oxide and nothing will stick to them, including the metals. So, yeah, I know there's water in it. Water is very bad. You want to drive all that off first before you use them, but I use it to create rust. All of them have it. And as you can see, it is forming rust. So that's a good thing. Rust is like Teflon for metal. It's very non-stick. Yeah, I'll get back to shaper. This finish is almost like baby butt smooth. It's amazing how smooth this stuff is. I don't think I have enough radius ground on the end of the tool bit, but it's So it's leaving the signature shaper marks, but I like the marks, so. And if I don't, I'll just take a few pa or a few seconds on a 320 or 400 grit sandpaper and takes it right off. So, they're not very deep anyhow. I'll machine this up, then I gotta reposition this in the vise, so this is pointing straight up and we'll machine the front face. And then we'll mark it out to drill it on for the six bolt holes or stud holes all the way around and then this hole here for the uh, slide valve rod but I need the lathe to do that because the slide valve rod has to be turned down. So it's, yeah. Right now we're just getting the two both faces cleaned up and get the thing ready to go.
Okay, I just took it down. The screw to take it down is right here. The handle. And just take it down and lock the table. There's a square head bolt over here. I think I got it tightened up good enough now. We'll find out. Stupid autos focus. Sides actually look pretty flat, so I may not touch those. I'll see you when I get to that point, though. Okay, I got it all cleaned up here. I gotta take a little bit off of the tops because it's still a little too much because it wants to. Yeah. But, there it is. I gotta get, wait for the lid to get finished because I gotta drill a little over a size three, it's whole, and then tap a, or drill another hole part way down in for the gland nut and it's got to be tapped a 3 8 pipe thread which is pretty freaking massive so I gotta take it down and yeah I think I'm gonna call quits I'm actually tired it is 5 after 7 in the morning, so I'm probably going into bed. Some of it done. Yeah, I gotta get the lathe done up so I can put it in back gears and I'll just tap that, tap, or tap these threads into it so it'll be easier. And, yeah. That way I can drill the hole straight down through. And I can do it up that way so it doesn't wander or anything. Um, also, I finally got the window blinds up. Green window blinds. There's the old lathe. And the old drill press. Okay, I'm getting tired. One part done on the sh on there. I'll worry about these. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. Or we'll leave it to some other time. But for right now, I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. See ya.